Hey everyone, my name is Cardinal and I'm here to bring you another CSGO round analysis powered by Skybox. Today we're going to be looking at round number 19 between Monster Technological University's A team and QU Beers from Queen's University Belfast. The scoreline is currently 12 to 6 in favour of QUB in the second half of Vertigo. MTU are currently on somewhat of a force buy with limited reserves, 3 SMGs, a scout and their only rifle on their star player Nalco. On the other hand, QUB have a full buy off the back of a 4 round win streak with full utility. QUB are set up for a change of pace as they possibly expect an eco or a force buy from MTU given the economy situation in the last few rounds. With one player from QUB covering mid as well as Slothy holding a push from the B bomb site, the first misplay is Slothy losing their duel versus Fraxer, who was able to push all the way towards T spawn and picks up a kill. Not only is this a lot of map control knowledge for MTU, it also springs the remaining three T site players into action towards the A bomb site. The next event which goes wrong for QUB is Crips Flashbang which unfortunately collides with their entry fragger row. This then also doesn't blind PK who easily mops up the kill with their SMG. Fix at the bottom of A ramp also hasn't positioned correctly to trade the kill which gives MTU a 2 man advantage going into the mid row. Shortly afterwards, Nalco takes a duel versus QUB with no trade potential for the T side, leaving them down to just two players remaining. In contrast to QUB, despite PK being taken out, they're immediately traded by Nalco and the round is closed out as it started by Fraxer with the SMG. This sequence of events sparked a monumental comeback from MTU which ended up with them winning the game 16-14 to take the map.